Hey guys, so welcome to another video. I'm Curly Realtor. So let's get right into it. This video won't be long at all. Now, I just want to give you guys a couple tips. Now, I've been doing um, twist outs for about a month now. I've been doing them a lot. Um, I really like them. I love doing them. Um, it definitely became something that I enjoy doing. You know, I love the like you know, the curl pattern and I, I just, I, I do. And they're so cute where like, you know, I could wear them for a couple days while they're drying, you know? So, and they're easy. You know, once I got the hang of them, I realized like they were really like simple to do. So, um, this, now honestly, this is definitely, I think, my most successful twist out. And it wasn't even supposed to be a twist out. Like, so my wash day was last Wednesday. Today's Monday night. Um, literally, I did a perm rod set. It was just a fail. Um, it wasn't fully dry when I took it out. I didn't like it, you know? Um, but for the most part, everything was stretched you know, from my roots and then my ends, you know, it just wasn't completely dry. So it didn't come out the exact way a perm rod set should. Um, but, you know, I was like, damn, like this looks terrible. I got to do something. You know, I didn't want to wash my hair again. You know, I had a great deep condition. My hair did feel moisturized. I didn't want to put anything else in it. Now, when I did the perm rod set, I only put a mousse. I, um didn't put any leave in so yeah now I was like you know trying to figure out a style and if you seen one of my shorts I did a couple twists in the front of my hair and I was just trying to make you know this perm rod set like work I was trying to make you know a style where my hair could like last and when I started to do the ones in the front of my hair I went in with the Curls Blueberry Bliss um, Leave-In Spray. It's a curl revitalizer. Um, it's a very thin liquid. Um, it's really it's really good with slip. It's a really good product. Um, they both, the Curls line has um, one that's called like Lavish Curls. It's a pink bottle. It's a pink spray bottle. And the other one is the blueberry, which is the yellow bottle. Now, I love them products. Um, it's very light. But with it being light, it still has enough slip that I can detangle with it. And it's meant to like detangle. It's meant to like refresh your curls. Whatever. So, you know, my hair was dry. And I went in and I sprayed my ends with this you know with the stuff just so I could like detangle enough and then once I like separated everything I just put um my ego style clear gel and I twist it and you know they dried so quick because my hair was already dry and again I didn't like soak it I just did the ends with the leave-in just so I could you know, separate it without getting any breakage. And the twists came out so nice. They were so elongated and, you know, they were shiny and they looked really good. So I was like, hmm. I was like, not for nothing. My hair looks like shit. <laughs> the rest of it. And these twists look so juicy. Let me just do twists and rest of my head. Now, I don't know how many twists I had in total I'd say maybe under 16 didn't have that many um but so sorry my hair was dry like um the night the same night that I put all the twist in my hair and I did the same thing you know just put the light leave-in on my ends detangled and put the gel and I got this bomb, bomb ass twist out. Now, 
here we go, five minutes in, here are the tips that I think made this bomb twist out happen. One, make sure your hair is stretched before you do the twist. Yes, twist outs do stretch your hair, but if you want a more elongated look with more stress, uh, stretch and less shrinkage, I would make sure your twists are already, you know, in a stretch state. Now, you do not need to use a blow dryer for your hair to be stretched. Again, you could maybe do the perm rods. You could maybe put it in two braids, go to sleep with it, wake up. Now your hair stretch and then do the twist. You know, um, you could use the rubber band method I have on my channel, um, how to get a heatless blowout. Like... There's multiple ways to stretch your hair without using heat. And honestly, I don't even think you need it to be completely dry, but just dry enough where your hair stretched. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's one. I think to get a bomb twist out, definitely have your hair in a stretched state so you don't have to really worry about stretching it. Like, you know, I didn't stretch this. Like, this is how the twist came out. Usually I'm rubber banding it, rubber banding it all week, you know, just to make sure that the twists are longer and how they should be. And obviously I deal with a lot of shrinkage, you know, but this, you could tell, um, or at least I could tell that it's more stretched than it would have been if I would have just like left the twist in my hair and, you know, didn't put any rubber bands in it, didn't have my hair like dry and stretch before I did the twist. Um... So, yeah, you know, if you like that look and if you like it to, you know, be more stretched so you can see the length, I would definitely do the twist on, you know, mainly dry <laughs> but stretched hair. So then, two, I would use a light leave-in. Um, you know, you don't want your hair weighed down. You know, when you use, you know, it's nice to have everything moisturized for sure. But you could also moisturize it with something light rather than putting on a leave-in that's a cream. Um, or, you know, even if the cream's like thin. Because I have used, you know, thinner leave-ins in, you know, other twist-outs. But it just didn't do, you know, give me the same results. So I definitely think like a light leave-in you know, is smart because you don't want the hair way down. But you're going to use a gel. And the gel, you know, you want a gel that's good. You want it to have good crunch because you want it to give this definition. You want to give it the hold. I have a little crunch on my hair still, which is fine because in a couple of days, I will still have a bomb twist out. You know, if <laughs> I feel like if a gel has crunch, it means that, you know, it's strong. The stronger the gel, the longer the style list. More definition you get. This is definitely the most definition I had. And I've been using the Argan Oil Gel, but I really do believe that the clear styling gel from Ego is way stronger than the Argan Oil. You know, on my hair. These are all tips that, you know, worked with my hair. You know, try them out. You know, I hope they work for you too. Um, but they're like, you know, definitely the main twists. Let it dry. Let it dry. Let your twist dry. Do not unravel, and I'm sure you heard that before. Do not unravel them if you feel like they're even the slightest bit wet. Leave them in for a little bit more. Or, you know, if you go in with a blow dryer, whatever. Um, then... Another thing for a twist that I think is very important that I feel like I didn't really need as much with um, braid outs is make sure you put oil, not just on your hair in the beginning, but on, and on your hair. <laughs> make sure you put oil on your hand with every individual twist. So once I'm done this twist, I'm gonna get oil on my hand again to unravel this one. Always put oil on the start of a new twist 
because I feel like the twist are more like sensitive. I don't know. They are more prone to frizz. Now I just laid with my daughter and put her to bed. It's the only reason why I have frizz right now. But I didn't have frizz all day. And I really do, you know, feel like when I'm taking the twist out to unravel it, because it's easy once you actually like pull the two apart. But I also braid my roots, which I'm gonna get into that too. Um, but you wanna make sure you have oil. It will just make the twist better. And not only does it make the twist better with less frizz, but it allows, you know, it easier for you to separate the hair, especially when you have gel in it. You wanna be able to separate the twist, you know? So it will definitely separate better once you have the oil in your hair. Now, last and final tip. And this is, you know, very important too. You want to braid your roots. I definitely don't think my twist would be as bomb or as elongated if I didn't braid my roots. You know, whether you're, it's wet, whether it's um, stretched and dried, you want to braid your roots, then twist down. You know, um, it will just help you have, you know, more of you know, an elongated look and it makes your roots neater. Where like, you know, which I do have a little bit of flakes because I don't think the mousse was compatible with the gel and then I had all this edge control when I was doing the perm rod sets, but it didn't even bother me. I could spray it water and it'll go away. I just didn't realize to now. But, you know, it just makes your roots neater um, when you braid them. And I do believe if you get a pick, it would probably be easier to pick it if you had braided your roots. And I also think that um, it helps it stay detangled when I braid my roots. You know, because again, I do live, leave my twist in for a couple of days, you know, and I feel like the twists are more secure when I braid my roots. So braid your roots, very, very important. But that's how I get a bomb twist out. If you don't think it's bomb, <laughs> then I'm sorry you watched this video. But <laughs> definitely, definitely try these t these tips out if you feel as though you know you haven't had a bomb twist out. Um, also, if you feel like your twists aren't staying, again braid them roots then when you twist you put the right piece of hair over the left piece of hair I don't know why someone told me on the YouTube shorts and it works put the right piece of hair over the left piece of hair and twist 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 and when you get to the end make sure you um twirl your ends in the same direction that you twist or it's just going to unravel you know um I thought that was common sense until like I realized I don't think I was doing it um but when I actually like started like doing it and started like focusing on that it worked and when I do twirl my ends I go until I feel like I can't no more you know I do it at least 10 times <laughs> and it has been keeping my twist secure you know um yeah, I think a gel is definitely, definitely a great part, you know, thing to use. Um, this video is getting too long. So, they are the tips. Um, try them out and let me know in the comments how it goes. And uh, stay tuned for my next video. I will be doing um, the rubber band with added braiding hair. So, just a little summer look coming up. But uh, bye guys, I'll see you later.